Hi guys. Um, so real fast, this is a very fast video compared to most of my videos because I'm long-winded. Um, on how to make this very creepy little girl. Um, I had seen this on Pinterest and I thought it was so cool, but when you clicked on it, there was no instructions. Um, this is a little different than the one on Pinterest. The one on Pinterest, her face is all black because you really don't see it. Um, my hands were smaller, so I wound up painting the face. Um, so, but it's pretty close and this is how I did it. It's just PVC, some connectors, a styrofoam head. It's a wig from Walmart. Um, the white gown is my daughter's graduation gown. Come Halloween, I have downloaded some really creepy sound effects. Um, I'll try to put them on for you when I show you the end of a little girl saying, come play with me. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> really creepy. <laughs> Anyway, she's going to be sitting by my front door with a cool strobe light, maybe a really ratty looking baby doll. Um, and it was so simple to put together. So here's a very, very fast video on how to do it or in the blueprints that I used. All right. All right. Here is your list of supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need PVC and the connectors. I think they call them joints. I call them connectors. I have a color blueprint I made for you to show you the connectors you're going to need. I'll show you that in a second. You're going to need a styrofoam head. You're going to need a wig. Um, I used some just regular pins, push pins, to secure the wig. You need paint, uh, whites and blacks, if you're going to paint the face. You can paint the face all black if you're not going to see it with the hands. Um, you could see our face, so I painted it like mostly white with some black eyes just to make it really creepy. You need wire to make the hands. I taped wire onto a cardboard base and then I just covered the hands with masking tape and painted them to get that creepy look. And then with the wire, you can bend the fingers. You need brushes, of course, to paint your styrofoam head and your hands. So that's what you're gonna need. These are the pieces I cut for the body. You need four inch pieces. You need one of those, that is for the neck. You need four, four and a half inch pieces. That is for where it connects to the shoulders and to the hips. You need four, six and a half pieces. That is for the, the arms here and here, here and here. And then you need five, 11 inch pieces. That's for four of the legs, these four. And that is for the torso that goes down the middle. Now here is the joints you're gonna need. I think they call that a cross. That goes where the neck and shoulders meet. The T joint, that is gonna go where the torso meets the hips. You're gonna need four of the, I think they're 90 degree angles, right? Now, here's where I ran into a problem. I wound up using eight of these because I could not find the 45 degree angles. That is good where you're gonna bend the knees and the elbows. Um, so what I did is I used the, the uh, 90 degree and then I just pulled them out a little bit so they weren't all the way in and bent them and then secured them with duct tape. They do have these. I asked the guy at Home Depot after I made her, I said, why didn't you have them? He says, we have them. We just don't keep them in the PVC department. I think they keep them in a plumbing section. So they do have the 45 degree. It's so much better if you have them for the bend, but mine didn't. So I had to fudge it. But so these are the joints you're gonna need right here. And then of course your PVC. So after you cut all your pieces and you buy all your joints, this is how you assemble her. I completely skipped this step. I am so sorry by accident. I forgot to take a picture or a video of what it looked like before I dressed her. So this is how you're gonna connect her. I will add this picture in in the comments so if you need to use this and I'll add the one with the um, the joints as well if you want to copy it and that's how you put her all together and because it's PVC and if you do not glue the joints you can continually move her around so she'll be poseable I didn't glue mine because I like to move her because I don't know where she's going to be every year this year she's crouching in the corner by my front door um, but if you don't glue it then you can move it around and that's, that's how you put her together. And then I'm gonna show you her all together.